Hello and welcome to Monday, March 23rd, 2020. I'm Philip Palermo and this is Cord Cutting Today. We hope you had a wonderful weekend and we thought we'd ease you into Monday by looking, looking back at the biggest stories from the past few days. So without further ado, let's take a look. So the first item today is actually a pretty big one for CordCuttersNews.com and it's our Spring 2020 survey. Uh, it's a chance for us to get to know our readers a little bit better. I mean, everyone cuts the cord a little differently. Maybe you use a different uh, variety of services or you like some products more than others. So this is a chance to tell us how you cut the cord, how you enjoy your entertainment. Uh, maybe there are services out there we should be covering more or devices we should review more often. This is a chance to let us know. So if you haven't already, we have a link to uh, the survey down below in the video description, along with all the other stories I'll talk about today. Moving on, we have Disney Plus, and the streaming service is set to launch on March 24th at a number of locations throughout Europe, including the UK, Germany, Italy, and more. Uh, but late last week, Disney Plus announced that it's opting to lower video quality and video bitrate on, on its streams to help reduce uh, congestion throughout Europe. Now, this is a move we've reported on last week where Netflix, YouTube, uh, and Amazon all announced that they are doing the same thing. They're lowering the video quality, the video bitrate on their streams to help ease congestion throughout Europe. Uh, Disney Plus expects uh, this move to reduce their bandwidth utilization by about 25%, and that pretty much falls in line with what Netflix was saying. They were going to lower their, their bandwidth by about 25% without sacrificing too much in the, in the realm of video quality. And going beyond reducing video quality, Disney Plus also announced it's opting to postpone its launch in France at the request of the French government. Uh, now the streaming service is scheduled to, uh, to debut there on Tuesday, April 7th, 2020. And you can see more details about that story in Jess's post on CordCuttersNews.com. And again, we've linked to that below down in the video description. Next, we have the U.S. Coronavirus Task Force, which includes agencies like the CDC, FEMA, and Health and Human Services, among others. And they've announced they have an official news app, and Amazon says Fire TV users now have free access to that app. Well, the goal here is to provide news and updates about the ongoing coronavirus response, including live updates as they come in. There's also an informational section for folks to learn more about how to limit their exposure to others and, and stay safe. The coronavirus.gov channel is available for free on the Amazon Fire TV app store. Next, we have an update from Sling TV about its Stay In and Sling program. Now, when this program was first announced, the idea was that it would provide a selection of free news and entertainment during the ongoing coronavirus outbreak. And then late last week, Sling TV announced that it's adding more channels and more content to that program in the form of 19 international news channels uh, from areas including the Middle East, South Asia, Europe, Brazil, and East Asia. Now, in our story on cordcuttersnews.com, we have the full listing of all 19 channels, and we have that linked down below in the video description. Uh, but beyond that, have any of you tried the uh, Stay In and Sling program? If so, what, uh, what content are you enjoying? Feel free to comment and let us know. And one of our most popular stories over the weekend came in the form of ESPN who aired a seven-hour special on Sunday dedicated to Tom Brady of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, and I'm told he played with some other team prior to that. But yes, ESPN dedicated seven hours to Brady and his 20-year career with the New England Patriots, culminating in six Super Bowl championships. And as a longtime Seahawks fan, that makes me feel very, very good. But yes, seven hours of Brady highlights, and this, and we've covered this in a couple stories over the past couple weeks about ESPN struggling to fill its airwaves now that there's not a whole lot of live sports to cover. And one of the options is replaying classic games that a lot of people remember and a lot of people love. And they've just done seven hours of Tom Brady coverage, and I, we'd like to know from you. What other you know sports figures, what other sports teams would you like to see a full marathon on? Comment down below and let us know. And lastly, with lots of us staying home right now and honestly looking for things to do, we thought it'd be a good idea to put together a guide for how to stream some of our favorite game shows like More Modern Fair, like Jeopardy! or Deal or No Deal, or some of those classics like Old School Family Feud or Password 
or to tell the truth. And the idea being you can uh, get some uh, competitions going within your household. And so we posted that guide this weekend, and we've included some popular services like Netflix, Hulu, and Amazon Prime Video, and some game show-focused networks like Go Figure, Game Show Network, and Buzzer. So if you haven't already, take a look at that guide. It's linked down below in the video description, and get your game on at home. And that about wraps it up for Monday, March 23rd, 2020. As always, we thank you for tuning in, and we hope you have a wonderful week going forward. If you haven't already, please do click like and subscribe here on YouTube, and follow along with us for the latest news and updates on cordcuttersnews.com. Until tomorrow, take care.